and gentlemen, welcome. Thank you for coming. This presentation is about to start. Please make your way to the glass box area. The first demonstration is about to start. Thank you. Like she just said. Thank you of all coming. My name's Sergeant Gary Broadhurst. We're attached from Operational Safety and Skills Command. Um, it's our job to train police to stay safe so that they can tr they can help you guys to stay safe. Uh, the operational safety instructors perform this demonstration here, come from a variety of locations around Sydney. Um, you're going to be shown a number of short demonstrations and I'll explain the equipment and their training. Um, just be aware at no time please can anyone come forward of these cones. Uh, some of the equipment they're using is quite dangerous to themselves, not to you guys, but it will be if you come in here. Uh, the officer, safety officer wearing a high visibility vest is the safety officer. It's his job to ensure that this uh, demonstration is conducted safely at all times. Uh, you'll also see we've got two role playing police officers and they're the operational safety um, instructors. There's also another operational safety instructor and he'll be um, playing the role of the bad guy. You plain the obvious that he's a bad guy in moments. Officers are going to demonstrate um, a wrist lock. They're going to show you three different types of wrist locks. Go on. Officers are going to demonstrate an arm bar takedown. Get on the ground, get on the ground. <laughs> We'd like to see that again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Demonstrate an angle kick. An angle kick. Get back! Get back! Get back! The officers will now demonstrate a knee strike. A knee strike. Get back! Get back! Get back! Get back. The role playing officers are now going to show you a palm heel strike. Get back!
Officers now going to demonstrate the final one for this little phase. It's going to be a baton strike. I'm um, just to let you know that we won't be making comment on any past or present scenarios, but all our training is scenario based on reality. If a problem happens in reality, we train for it to make sure it doesn't happen again. Uh, the role is to strengthen the capabilities of New South Wales Police by providing quality operational training and education to develop for the provisions of oper operational safety tools. The Operational Safety Command is made up of another in sections and it also includes the bike unit up the back down there. Make sure you go see our friends after this, but not before. And also defensive cells including um, all the way around uh, New South Wales we have cells that can perform this type of training. Also it includes the uh, Goulburn Police College where the students do their training. Where a lot of them, uh, see some budding students down here right now. What the officers are going to show you now is what's called <coughs> Oriolian's Capsicum Spray. Everybody, of course, you already knew that, didn't you? That's what it's called. We also call it OC Spray. You may have heard it called. Who can spell it for me? OC. OC, correct. <laughs> well done, mate. OC Spray. In America, it's called Pepper Spray. I'll explain it in a, in a moment. But what they're going to do now is go give you a demonstration using inert or training spray. Get away! You hey. come near me, I'll, I'll bash you! Awesome. Get away from me! Hey. Get away! Yeah. Marcus, get away! Get away. Yeah. No, you settle, settle down! Get away from me! Get out of here! Hey. Don't get come near me, I'll bash you! Hey. You come near me, I'll punch yeah. you right in the face! No, you won't. Yes, I will! No, you won't. Ah. Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get your arms here! Get your arms here! Stop it, Bernie. Bring your other arm up to swallow your back. Police equivalent to pepper spray, you may have seen it in movies and TV shows. Um, every officer has that and carries it. It comes in different size cans, um, from little little ones for if you're in shorts and t-shirt, the undercover squad, right up to big backpacks full of the stuff. Okay? Um, who here's had sand in their eyes? Yeah, this is like sand in your eyes times a thousand. Okay? It lasts from about one second up to 40 minutes, so it takes a second to react and then lasts up to 40 minutes. Okay. And then, of course, um, we're not out to hurt anyone. We're not out to harm anyone. What it does is it's a controlling device where we can gain control of someone who's being aggressive. And, of course, you would have seen in the demonstration, once they gain that control, they help the person by decontaminating and getting the, getting the chemical off their face. Okay? We have no interest in hurting or harming people. It actually causes no physical injury. It's just a burning sensation. Like I said, sand in the eyes times a thousand. now is demonstrate, give you two demonstrations in two separate phases using the taser. 
on the taser is effectively little miniature fish hooks and what they're designed to do is just penetrate the skin or penetrate the clothing where then the, uh, the offender, the hostile offender receives 50,000 volts of electricity. Okay, so, but what that actually does is causes no physical injury, it causes a hell of a lot of pain. Picture it this way, I'll show you how safe it is. Um, what we do is, uh, when we use bolts, bolts is what causes the pain, but it doesn't cause any injury. Does anyone know what causes the injury? What causes actually is very harmful to you, electricity? Does anyone know? It's called amps. Yeah, so the amps of electricity that we use is 0.2. It's actually less electricity than what you have in your Christmas lights. So your Christmas lights are more dangerous. I'll come to you in a moment, scene. Your Christmas lights are more dangerous than this thing here, okay, by causing injury. But I can assure you this causes a lot more pain than your Christmas lights. That's called the taser. Question over here, sir. What about if you've got a heart condition? Yeah, they've actually done the tests in these. This is an American product. Um, in America, God bless the Americans, they have tasered many, many people with uh, pacemakers, heart conditions, stroke victims, even a pregnant female has been tasered and there's been absolutely no harm or injury to the, to the baby, to any person with any medical condition. The reason being is because they've got so, such a low ampage. It's not that low the other one. You know the other one you use? This is the one we use. Is yeah. yeah, this is it. This is, this is an operational taser. There is one other model that is black, and all it has is some slightly different functions down the bottom. It's exactly the same. Yeah. It actually has the same mechanical injuries. Yes, my sir. Uh, when you fire the taser, what are the, um, those little things that come out of the taser? Like, yeah, like a party, like party cannon, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, what are they for? Out of our party cannons, we shoot these little probes, and that's what carries electricity on two little fine wires. Okay, because I can't get the electricity to get from here to the bad guy. It goes by those little wires. No, but there's like those little small things that just pop out of them. Oh, aphids, okay. Um, you don't have to worry about it, yeah. Uh, <laughs> basically, it lets us know where, where a taser's been fired. Okay, so, so it's a mechanism where we make sure we stay safe. And you can't have an officer saying, oh, I didn't shoot that taser. We go, well, yes, you did, because it puts hundreds of little dots of confetti around on the car. And if you're shot it out here, you'd never find them all. Okay, so it's a safety mechanism to ensure the police do the right thing at all times. You can't reuse a thing or what? You know, the cartridge, no, that's a one-off cartridge. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Stand by, I'll show you another demonstration of the taser. Show your weapon! Show your weapon! Put your weapon! Get on the weapon! Quite a realis realistic representation of how the taser reacts. How the taser reacts on, the, on an individual. Is that a form? I'm sorry. Is that a form? No, no, no. That, that's a, a proper taser training suit. It's, gen it's effectively a super thick padded material. That's all to stop these probes from going into his body. 
Has anyone got any questions about the taste before we move on? I'll show you the next demonstration. <laughs> Right, so for the kids, you may have noticed I've been using my police voice here today. Okay, basically because we've got no power to these things. They just look pretty at the moment, not doing a damn thing. <coughs> okay, so remember kids, at home you'd have an inside voice, wouldn't you? And an outside voice. Can you show me your inside voice? You got an inside voice? That's pretty quiet, isn't it? <laughs> How about you, mate, behind you? Have you got an inside voice? Show me your inside voice. Who here's got a police voice? Nice and loud police voice. Hello. Hello. Who here can say police don't move? Police don't move! Oh, that's oh, good. Yeah. Well done, mate. Who can do better than him? You can do better than that, can't you? Police don't move! Oh, I think we've got to... All right, we'll get one more, one more. Who else can do a bit of police don't move? I think we've got a winning ego. Nice and nice. Good, Jay. All right, I'm, I've been wrong in the past. <laughs> My friend in the yellow shirt, you can yell out, please don't move as loud as you Please don't move! Right? Even with an accent, I like that. That's, an, that's a uh, movie star right there. All right. What the police are going to do is show you another demonstration of the... Um, they're going to show you a demonstration using the firearm. training and again like I stated earlier at the very beginning of this demonstration all the police that go through the New South Wales Police College down at Goulburn do training similar to this in a lot larger area and also every year every single New South Wales Police officer has to do days and days of training to stay accredited okay so it's an ongoing thing and all these multitude of skills uh, the skills that have been demonstrated here today is that I'm guessing about one tenth of the actual skills toolbox that the police get to use on their day-to-day -day basis to remain safe. And as I said at the beginning, that's so they can remain safe so that they can keep you safe. And as you can see, the final rounds is like that as well with the paint rounds. You all might have seen skirmish and things like that perhaps. Okay, this is our police version of skirmish. Or has anyone got any questions about anything that you've just seen in this demonstration today? More demonstration. Oh, yeah. This one might be the best one ever. Oh, it's too hot, sorry. Alright, you have them already. Alright, what I need now, somebody who wants to go through the New South Wales Police College to be a police officer. Young lady, you're already wearing the police recruit hat, you're halfway there. Alright, you might have to put down your police issue coat. Yeah. Yeah, she's got it ready to go. That's halfway there as well. So what's going to happen now is our officer, Natalie. Officer Natalie, who's just been sworn in as a New South Wales police officer, 
Oh. He's going to come in and save the day, day. maybe. Right, jump in here. Jump in. Tune in tomorrow. Same bat time, same bat channel. Bye for now.